You are now listening to the Life and Football Podcast. Check out the new website, lifeandfootball.com. Once again, the website is lifeandfootball.com. Thanks for listening. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life and football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life and football. It's life and football. We are life and football. Welcome to the Life and Football Podcast, baby. I'm your host, Mike Fee. And this is your co-host, Cole Moore. You know we loving life and enjoying football. Top notch ballers all around the world. Top, top notch ballers all around the world. Today, we got to talk about that big man. He used to wear number seven in high school. He wearing number one at Colorado from Lakeland, Florida. Polk County representative. Ain't no pretender. Kamani McClain. Shout out to the all Colorado fan, whole prime, Kamani, his mama, the whole family, baby. Cause we out here trying to find out his next step. Now, he was at Colorado, he did pretty much a full year. So what a full year, what I'm saying is that's when you do your fall and your spring. Far as that's how we call it in the college world when you complete that fall in your spring i think he i think he still got to complete that spring you know you did your year so he didn't got to see the fall seat fall season training games then he didn't did the spring now as far as all the ins and outs of, of what he did in the spring i don't know uh i mean i'm pretty sure cole prime he know now we looking at what school he might go to now there's a lot of options out there. And my thing is, come on, it ain't over, baby. Take your time, choose, and try to find a place that's a good fit for you. I always look at it like when you get places like a, um, what you call it, like a school, like a, you got the, you got the big, the big boys. You got your Florida State, your Florida, your Georgia, but, you got schools even like a Kentucky. For me, that's what I would consider, like a Kentucky, um, Mississippi State, South Florida, um, FAU, uh, Georgia State. I mean, cause basically, and I, I used to tell c Mode this, all the time I used to tell c Mode this, hey, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. If I'm going, if I'm a five star, four star, and, and this before Kamani, this before, I was telling CMO this like three, four years ago. If I'm coming out a four or five star, I'm going to a school like a South Florida, West Kentucky. And the reason y'all know why I used to say that, cause you, they don't get them type players. And I know they pretty much gonna throw a parade for me when I come. They gonna give me any number I want. I'm pretty much gonna be a, a almost polarizing player just coming in just coming in now you still got to put that work in but that was some so kind of not understandable to me like why everybody jumping to a georgia alabama i know it's about the lead but hey i'm trying to shine too eventually you will get that chance to go to the lead because so, you know it's about playing and you know, you doing your thing at the same time. But well, Simo, jump in on this, man. You know, I'm I, I feel you on it, cuz I know right now. I we seen the list that came out yesterday. He had I wanna say about eleven schools on there. Um well recently he had about eleven schools that he looking at. But if I'm him, I am gonna look at the depth chart of the DBs. I need to know if it's two seniors. That's been a star this season because I got to go in there and compete now. So I need to know if it's two seniors, two juniors, two, is it sophomores, is it a freshman? I need to know what's in that lineup, what was in they two deep, and how they did last year. Was all the DBs there last year? Are they new DBs? They just got there in the spring because 
he's going to have to go in the summer. So you want to make sure when you get there, you know what's, what you up against. Now, I have seen guys go first round and fifth round out of South Florida. I have seen guys go out of D1AA, third round, and sixth round. So you can get drafted anywhere. So if that's the case, if, if I'm looking at all the schools, I want to go to the school who would absolutely throw me a parade, celebrate me there, tell the whole world they got me. Because I already know the NFL scouts going to follow me because I'm a five-star. So they're going to keep up with the five-star. Everybody going to want to know what Kamani McClain going to do in 24, 25, and 26 if he have to stay with 26. So everybody going to want to know. So if that's the case, I'm like you, man. I'm looking at a, the Kentucky. But I'm also looking at the South Florida because he got the DB coach that's there that knows him. Um, probably been recruiting him since the sophomore season. But I'm also going to throw I'm gonna throw a, 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 a play that nobody ain't looking at. I'm going to call Bethune by myself. I'm going to call him on my own. I'm going to say, Coach, man, I, I, I want to come check you out. And he gonna man, he gonna he gonna roll out the red carpet for me, cause he'll never expect that I call him, Coach. I want to be close by the crib, but not too close. If I'm in Daytona, that's really a two hour, uh, two hour and fifteen, two hour and twenty minute ride from uh Lakeland. But if you really hitting that gas, you can get there before then. So I would really man, listen, man. I look at Bethune. I know, I know everybody probably look at me crazy, but he go to Bethune. They probably, now I know it's going to be DBs that are ready to start, but they'll probably roll out that red carpet. Man, he go do his thing two years straight. Man, that boy probably still get drafted high, man, with ball in there. But he probably ain't going to see it like that. I seen George on his list, so maybe he might want to go to a George. But at the end of the day, I still think he's going to end up picking South Florida. And I did like that no. FAU too. I like that FAU look too. Or Central Florida. Central Florida too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, Simo, you got to stand up for your people. Now, Kamani from Polk County, you from Polk County. It's been articles after articles talking about and downplaying the players that are coming out of Polk County, and pretty much they disrespecting the boys, acting like they're not um coming in to play. Almost like they just coming in, just mediocre. Well, we know that's not the case. These boys, they saw all they y'all got some balls from them. So Man. I want you to speak on it and speak up for your boys. Cause even Kamani and Sam McCall, I think both right now in the transfer report, at one point in time, them boys was on the same high school team. Top, right. One was a four star corner, one was a five star corner. So go ahead, go ahead, Simo. Yeah, man. Uh, one of them, you know, the guys who you know, we media, but until God put it on the national stage where we got people at every school talking and they up under the life football brand, we don't have that just yet. But if God see fit, we'll have it. So, but, so it's one of them uh, companies went to talk about Polk County. And if you didn't play ball at any, man, they shouldn't even, I don't even know why they came for us like that. The players that they talked about, like you said, Kamani, he's going to go to a school and get his opportunity to showcase his talents. Um, well, he, he got a chance to showcase him at Colorado, but he got a chance to show that, hey, Colorado was Colorado. I'm finna have a new opportunity. So he gets to show that. Um, Sam McCall started at Florida State, then went to um, Texas A&M, and now he's transferring again. Now, Sometimes our players be athletes. And what I mean by that is they could be locked. I'm going to tell you the truth, man. I thought he was a wide receiver. Everybody had him as a DB. I really you thought talk he about was. who you saying, who you talking Sam. about. Now make sure you clear Sam. about Sam McCall. Yeah, Sam. I thought Sam was a wide receiver. Excuse me. I think he really might want to be a wide receiver. But everybody, I like. Now, he can't play DB, but I really thought he was a wide receiver and would go to school for a wide receiver. I think if he did make the switch to wide receiver, he'll, he'll, he'll do his thing. But he can stay at DB. 
do his thing. The same schools I said for Kamani, if I was him, I would do the same thing because them schools will roll out that red carpet for you. Now, you got Keon Zipperman. That's a um, tight end. He really was like a tight end wide receiver type because he wasn't really that big to be a certified tight end, but he wasn't that small to be a certified wide receiver. So he was like a tweener. Now, he picked Florida. I, I just, Now, he never left the school, but he might be now. This is going to be his first time checking out. If I'm him, I'm doing the same thing as them boys. I'm looking at the same university, and we're going to go together. Now, Demarcus Bowman, he left Clemson, went to Florida, left Florida, went to UCF, left UCF, about to go pick a school now. Again, for all them guys, I would pick the same schools. We will all go there. We will all be locked in, focused, and put that grind in. And we have to turn it on. Because this, this for Bowman, this is going to be the last hurrah. Well, he probably got maybe two seasons left. But this is the last hurrah. Um, Sam, he can't transfer no more. Um, Money, he don't need to transfer no more. Once he hit this transfer, man, don't transfer no more. Um, Keon, if he transfer, which it seemed like he might, um, this would be his last transfer. Now we got another guy that was at FAU about to transfer out, but he played. I think he went Juco then FAU, but he's been to transfer out. So some of these guys transferring out because they got new coaches. Now, now Bobin, he just did his own thing, but Sam, he left and went to a coach and then Jimbo left and went somewhere else. I mean, Jimbo, you know, he they got let him go. So that's why Sam did. But he never should have left Florida State, really. So at the end of the day, all our guys that's committing now and about to commit, and whoever hit this whenever they hit, y'all guys got to do the research. Man, don't get caught up on the this Georgia, this Clemson, this such and such and such and such. Get locked in on that depth chart and get locked in on what offense fits you. Get locked in on is the coach going to be here throughout my time or will he try to leave and get a bigger job? Or is this the biggest job for him? Then look at, man, what the running back did last year, what the DBs did last year, how good were they? Was it three running backs getting a chance to run it? Was it four DBs in rotation? You know, check everything out so you'll be on the winning spot. And then on top of that, go look at that university. Do you want to be there from, man, pretty much 12, 12. If you got three years left, you got 36 months. Are you going to be locked in for 36 months? Because out of them 36 months, you might come home a total of three weeks. Or a total of five or six, but you ain't coming home that much. So you better be in a location that you love, or your mindset so locked in, you like, man, I got thirty six months to, to hit this thing and run with it. So that's how I feel about it. Them people, that, them guys out there talking about poke kind of like that, man. They they just talking. They just came out us because it just happened to be a bunch of guys going in the port at around the same time. But that just lets you know how talented our area is now. It's plenty of other guys that's in Polk County that haven't left, that at their school balling, but they just focused on the three or four high-profile guys. So that's what it is with that. Right, right. Because, see, I, honestly, a lot of people, I like the transfer report of new. Right. Now, it is new because before your coach had to sign off on you going somewhere, which was dumb. But honestly – me and Simo transferred a lot of time. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of experience on this. Well, the, the, the thing is, we went to junior college. So we met at Elder of Junior College. If y'all been listening to life and football, y'all know the play. We, uh, I went from uh, Elder of College, went to Cincinnati as a walk-on. I went to Cincinnati as a walk-on, trying to play linebacker. Um, I was there just the spring, just the spring semester, just one semester in the spring. After I realized that um, you have end of the semester meeting, or uh, I forgot what they call it, uh, exit meeting or something like that. That's what with it the is. head coach the spring exit meeting. So he told me he was like, "Well, 
Yeah, man, we, we welcome you back. We're just not going to offer you a scholarship right now. So when he told me that, I told him, I said, well, coach, I'm going to have to find another school because I need that scholarship. That That's all it was back in the day. We weren't worried about no NIL and all this other stuff. And another thing, too, fella, that's what a lot of y'all need to focus on. Before you go to school, worry about this NIL because a lot of them faking you out. You ain't going to get no money how you think you're going to get it. So they, I left Cincinnati. They can cut it off at any time, too. Right. And I left Cincinnati, went to Alabama State on a full football scholarship and had the time of my life. Started both years and everything. So, CMO transferred quite a few times, but we were just really trying to get that scholarship. That's all that was. And, fella, just be mindful when you're out here making these choices, man, because somebody like a Kamani, his name's so big right now, he probably like the top five in the transfer report right now. For us, the rankings. I don't know. I don't know if they're officially ranking him right now in the transfer portal, but I know he one of the top dogs out there. And you got like even like players from Fam U. You got a lot of players from Fam U in the transfer portal right now. And I get it. You know they playing on um, FCS, you know, D1 AA as we used to call it, and they just want to go try their talents at the big time and try to hit the league. Now they didn't dominate it. What he yet? They won the national championship, SWAT championship. But the school that I see offering some of these guys from Fan U, it's like, and no knock to these schools, because I go to them. I just said some of their names, but Arkansas State, um, Bowling Green, UTEP. Hey, to me, Sam Houston, to me, that's almost just like Fan U. Anybody who know what I'm talking about right now, uh, who have been to fam you games, they know the crowd at fam you gonna be real similar to them schools. Even though they D1, I mean fam you at D1, even though they FBS, them school, them school FBS. But you you at a school right now, fam you returning almost a whole team. So they pretty much can go back to the net, win and out the championship. They got their first game, y'all gonna be on ABC. On, on Saturday, on the first game of the year, they play in week zero. The game going to be on ABC against Norfolk State. They playing in Atlanta. My thing is, you still playing Miami on your schedule. You still playing Troy on your schedule. If anybody get a chance, go look up fam you schedule compared to the other school schedule, and it almost look the same. Now, you you might if you're not familiar with black college, you might not know about certain schools. Of course, some people going to know about Jackson State because of Coach Prime. Some people going to know about Grambling because of the, that game on Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving, and Southern because around Thanksgiving, that game that be on TV. But you got certain schools that they play in, and to me, it's still match. What You know, I, I guess if you're trying to go to the NFL, it'll look a little better. You played at the LBS. But that's the you gotta look at who the who gonna get drafted for them FBA schools this year. And I know that's what they looking at too. They waiting on that. Trust me, them guys waiting on that too. But if I'm Kamani, I told Simo this. If I'm Kamani, I already got my school picked out. I'm going to Kentucky. If I'm him. I think but all then the boys again, gonna go to South Florida though, to be real. But yeah, yeah. Then again. I might do like Simo just said, go to South Florida. I'm going to click up with my poke card because DeMarcus Bowman, we were rooting for him super hard. Really? And Bowman, Bowman, you remember I talked to you before you went to Clemson. I think Simo talked to you too. But Bowman, remember I talked to you before you visited Clemson. I don't know how. Some kind of way we talked on the phone before you went to Clemson. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And I told him then, hey, bro, you get there. Ride it out. It's going to be your show. after Because they had um old boy who, uh, he the running back for the Jaguars right now. Um, what's his name, Simo? Um, ETN. ETN. They had ETN at Clemson at the time. And that so, other running back, he might be about to come out this year. He was number one. Oh, Will. Well, no, 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 no. Bowman had number one then. Yeah, but when Bowman was there. He came at, I want to say, the same time. He probably did, but Bowman had the number one. Yeah, he did. He did. 
So my thing is, and Bowman was getting burned. Yeah. So I really wonder how he's thinking about that right now. Fellas, just listen to what I'm saying. And the people out here listening to this, think about what I'm saying. After you make these decisions, what's going to be your best choice? Like, and the reason I said I may go to Kentucky, if, well, that's if I'm on. Um, um, come on. I'm going to go to Kentucky or I'm going to go to Georgia. The reason why I said Georgia, of course, you know, they're going to have five-star talent all around. Yeah, you're going to fight and play down. But they got so much talent. Man, when you get out there on that field, you're going to ball regardless. Now, Bowman could have went to Georgia and ran the out the ball, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Uh, now, see, now, see, if I'm a Bowman right now, uh, I'm going to go to a, maybe a South Florida. I know y'all probably think was oh you just said fan you I want to have Bowman go to fan you right now because they got three solid running backs. You got um you got Dean Gant and I can't remember that other guy's name. And see how you said that? A lot of schools gonna have some ballers, especially if they was winning. The more games they win, the better the players they have. So which we know that. But that means it's going to be harder to get on that field. So you show sure enough better pick the right school from this point on. Right, 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 right. So, hey, come on. I hold the best for you. And and I just want to know some of y'all thought what y'all think, man. And y'all get down in the comments and y'all let us know how y'all feel about it. I know a lot of people pissed and thinking he, he did wrong at Colorado. We we ain't into all that, man. We Cause it's, everybody be trying to transfer. That ain't just no commodity thing. By him going to class and doing this, doing that. That that's we don't know. We don't really even know the real truth. Only commodity and Cole Prime and maybe some of the boys up there know. But really, only commodity really know. You know, because you know maybe the man was going through something. And let me tell y'all something. When you coming from the state of Florida, I know this dumb to say. But when you go up to some of these places, you up there in that cold, and you will notice a lot of players from the South that be going to these schools, they transfer out. I don't know if it's just something mentally or what. Because I, I, me and Simo, I just told y'all we played at Ellsworth College, junior college. That's in Iowa. And, man, it was cold, snowing. Man, look, I had never seen no snow. I seen snow for – Two minutes one time. Two, I, I kid y'all not. Two, that's all. Two minutes, it was gone. And you ain't even seen nothing. You just seen look. It look like rain. So I really don't even know if we really saw it. So when you coming from the state of Florida, you going to these schools, that's something that the players got to realize too. Because a lot of them going to be looking at these schools and be looking like, man. Should I go to this school? Should I go to that school? But it's a lot of time, man. You go to these schools and you just up there and you're going through stuff. It's mental, it's mental stuff going on too now. That's serious. Like, not no just real depressed stuff. You just, you funk, going, you're going away from home. You're young, your first time away from your family. You're trying to figure out different things here and there. You're trying to see. Okay, how should I go about this? And you just really lost and trying to find your way. So if you pay, just y'all pay attention when y'all looking at this. You will see a lot of them players that go to schools up north, a lot of schools up north, Nebraska, Iowa, Colorado. If they from the south, you're going to see a lot of players transfer out. You're going to see a lot of that. I'm telling you, just pay attention. And a lot of that just, hey, mental, some of it playing time, and some of it, they just need a fresh start. It ain't just like I say, say just like I say, it ain't just come money. People just get caught up on that cold prime and come money stuff. No, it ain't that. A lot of players, that's why that transfer portal be so overflowed. And a lot of players gotta be willing to get in there and fight. Not like a commodity call. Commodity will get playing time at Colorado. But you got other players getting zero. So, man, like I say again, best wishes to all the players in the transfer portal. 
you know, um, shout out to Kamani. We've been rocking with Kamani. I think he was a junior. So we've been rocking with him for a long time, life and football. A long time. I'm talking about posting stuff on Twitter and everything. Mm-hmm. Well, Seymour, you got anything? Man, Jeff, hey, look at the depth chart. Know what's going on. And, le- and make sure you get your degree, man. Get that degree. Don't leave without that paper. That, that, that's free paper for you. That guarantee you uh, at least a solid job. But also, man, work on your gifts while you do. Work on stuff that you would do outside of football once football over. And maybe that start a YouTube channel. Maybe that's – well, I recommend start one, period. But doing whatever you love on the cooking, singing, skateboarding, throwing crazy passes, whatever it is, do what you do. And, and man, lock in and be consistent and come with it every day because ain't nobody giving no handouts, huh? Man, y'all heard it right there. Seatmo gave some great information. And that's right. Get your degree. Find you something else to do outside of football, too, man. Just don't be caught up in that everyday in and out football. I mean, make that your priority. But really, you need to throw some God in there. Make sure you're praying. Doing your schoolwork. And I like what he said. Do your little YouTube. Or if you ain't into YouTube and find you, even something like a podcast like we do right now. Do something like that, man. Um, it's something else you could do to add in, not just doing that daily thing as oh, you just locked in on your football, which you need to be locked in, but trying to figure out what you're gonna do after school. Cause once that football over, even if you go to the NFL, what you gonna do after that? But, hey, man, this is another good episode of the Life and Football Podcast. Y'all join us again. And check out other episodes, man. We all over YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. Y'all go check us out, man. I'm talking about we got episodes for days, way back 2019. Go check us out. We got players in the NFL right now, and they can tell you some stories. Or you might be able to take some from them episodes with guys we done talked to who done transferred. Um, went to certain schools who now in the NFL and who now got such sexual career. And this was before they got drafted and everything. As and well we even as, got as well as them coaches going from one school to even bigger schools just doing their thing. Right, right, right. So hey man, this is another episode of the Life of Football Podcast. We're gonna catch you next time. So keep your head up. And not down, I ask you to fall to the ground. Catch you next time.